Aubrey is the leader on set. He's really humble. He's really sweet. Completely charming. Just smooth. He's a total ladies' man. The girls just eat him up. He's very wise and he's very funny. He's my boy. I'm Aubrey Graham and this is my life. Unscripted. What's up, everybody? You're chilling with me, Aubrey Graham. You guys want to go for a ride? We can go for a ride. This is my baby, I guess. Um, it's a 2004 Acura TSX. It's a nice first car for like a teenager, I guess, as opposed to a Mercedes or BMW. I think that's pretentious, personally. But hey, if you have the money to buy it, then feel free. Enough about the car. Let's go inside. Hey, Bubby. Yeah. Me and my grandma have a little thing where my mom doesn't let her eat chocolate. But uh, my, my grandma slides me a little extra cheddar on the side, and uh, I make sure she gets her, her daily chocolate dose. That's so. my grandson. Um, this is the living room, and it's nice and elegant, and I kind of leave this alone. It's too, too, too much for me. This is our dining room, and uh, here's my mother making notes as usual on probably some exposing my to-do list yeah exactly through here this is our wonderful fridge with stock because you know there were people over today so we had to get some food now we're gonna check out myspace this is my space this is where i live and through here this is my living room I like a chilling vibe. That's my favorite thing about this this basement. I, I made this table. Got Barry White, Frank Sinatra, Notorious B.I.G. Everybody around this table has basically inspired me to get into music, particularly Pharrell. He's like one of my idols. So this is where I sit and sometimes write. And actually, we missed a very important thing. I write songs, and that's what I like. I, I do music. These are full from front to back of just songs, pages and pages of lyrics and ideas. Something that I'll probably never use, but, I mean, because they're old, I just like to keep them around for nostalgia purposes. And this is my dad, and uh, him and my uncle worked with Al Green. That's basically why I do it. I mean, he taught me everything. So, thank you, Dad. I don't get to see you that often, but, you know, my love is always with you. And then through here, this is, the, this is my comfort area. As you can see, I recently did laundry. This is actually a very nice couch. And in here, I have more stuff. Some sweaters and t-shirts, some blazers, jackets, and the shoes are a big thing. I got them from, from bottom to top. You know, at the end of the day, that's material possessions. That's not, that's not what I'm about. This is what I'm about. I'm a music fanatic, so. So I got some fads from Marvin Gaye, Kanye West, Big L, Jay-Z, all the Jay-Z albums. Um... I don't know, we could go on for days. I got the studio mic set to my height so I can just flow a little if need be. I've been a mess since every girl I left went and got a new man, but I'm the new version of Fresh Prince. And the band's got bumped for real. I switch wifey every season like Uncle Phil. And then the chorus drops. So that was a little verse I wrote. A little something, a little something, 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 something. Yeah, I got a, some stuff around here. I got Andrea's first single. Yeah, this CD, which is pretty good. It's Chaos, Toronto artist, supports the Toronto artist. And um, I, I got this the other night. It's Ali. It's one of my best friends on Radio Free Roscoe, which is a great show, by the way. Feel free to tune in. This is one of the nicest letters I've ever received from anybody. He feels that I could complete the uh, trifecta of the greatest African-American actors of all time, Lord Sidney Poitier, Denzel Washington. And he says... The third edition would be Aubrey Graham. Jason, I thank you, man. On the real, I never got a chance to respond to you. I hope you're watching this. Thank you so much. I appreciate it with all my heart. And uh, just know that I keep it close. And um, I, I, will, I will keep this with me for the rest of my life. No matter where I go, you're the one that said it. So if it happens, it happens, man. You called it. And this is my room. This is where I live. This is the life I'm living right now.
we always thought that there was something very different about this kid. When we had a piano at home and I would come home with my nursery rhymes, Aubrey at three years old would take the lyrics and he would change them. I realized that other kids just didn't do that. Being an only child, I always had him in a lot of activities, whether it was day camp or whether it was group activities, hockey, a lot of things where you'd have to learn to be a team player. I was in this program called YPT, which is Young People's Theater, but it was really just a bunch of young kids acting really hyper, and then like we'd throw on masks and call it a play, whatever. I guess the parents thought it was cool. When Arthur was um, about five years old, I took him to this agent, uh, and she really liked Darby, so he did print work, and uh, which is catalogs, and he did a couple of commercials. Had you been there tonight? Les Mis was the first thing that people actually uh, liked, I guess, and people actually came to see and clapped for a good reason. They're not like, yeah, it's over. Like, good, let's go. They'd been auditioning for Degrassi for a whole year or something all, at, at all these schools in the city. So it was the last three weeks of auditions and he got in. I was going to wait till tomorrow. I think you might need this now. Happy anniversary. I called Aubrey and I asked him to come home because we lived right across the road from the school at the time. So he came home and then I told him and he, of course, went crazy. He couldn't believe it. He's the man. You're looking at him. Grassy Panthers, Jimmy Brooks is on the prowl. Music and acting are the only things that I can commit to on a regular basis, no matter what. From Toronto to Tennessee, a town to stay down. Oh, KKK. New Drake album coming soon. You see that? You like that? That was, uh, that was my grandmother shamelessly promoting the new Drake album, and that's my middle name and also my performance name, so thank you, Bubby. This is the guy you want to follow, unscripted. Appreciate that, Completely man. Completely unscripted. That touches me right here. What was that kid's name again? <laughs>